Hey guys, happy Thanksgiving. Today we are going to learn how to make pecan tartlets with one of my favorite bakers, maybe my favorite baker, Robert McRae. Just cleaning things off right now. That's took 25 minutes. Mm -hmm. All right, are you, are you gonna talk on this one? Yeah. I'm gonna take a fourth of this. And uh, we will begin by rolling it out and get a rolling pin. Between two pieces of wax, wax paper or parchment paper? Parchment. Parchment paper. Between two pieces of parchment paper. Roll it out as you would for a pie crust. All right, so these are the biscuit cutters, or in this case, it's just a can. You take both lids off, and then that makes a cutter. This one, what do you think this came from? Tuna? Uh, the biggest one I think came from water chestnuts. Water chestnuts. You can only cut one end off. Like for instance, this can, you take the bottom, every can. And then we'll be ready to cut some rounds to go in the muffin pans. And then do you have to squish it back together after each cut? Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. And then make the next one, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. After each set. Yeah. Okay. We cut some rounds. As many as we can get at one time. Which would be four. All right, so he didn't spray the muffin tins. And then you just poke that down in there. Yeah, we'll, we'll Gently. Uh, yeah. Oh, so this is gonna take, this may take more than one pie crust. Yeah, it'll, Duh. Take, it'll take more than one, but I've got plenty here. Mm. Um, We'll just put these on, we'll come back and shape them. Uh, and then we'll mix the filling. And pour some in each. And then you scrape that back together and you yep. add, add more or you roll yep. that out again? Well, we can add more. We've got plenty. And this, this pie crust, uh, what you don't use, you can put it in a plastic container with a tight lid and keep it for up to two weeks. In the fridge. In the fridge. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna try this. I'm not a professional. But he said you just push it down in there and if it breaks, you fix it. It's shaped. I can do that. It's easy to shape. Easy to shape, says the man. All I know is these are he makes the best pecan pie I've ever had in my life. And it's even good in miniature form. All right, zoom in here, mom, camera lady, and get these well formed. <laughs> uh oh, see that one broke down in there? Can you see it down in there? So I'm just gonna smush it. And you put a little more dough in there if you need it. All right. And when you finish, you want it to just stick up a little bit above the top because oh. it'll, it'll shrink a little bit. Oh, okay. So yeah, like that. Because like it that. is going to shrink. All right, here That's we go. That's why we use the bigger cutter. Okay. Okay. That one may need a little bit of dough down yeah. there. It got a little thin. You know, we'll All right. Play with it. All right, so some of these got a little thin, so you just put a little crust down in there and um, work it in. There you go. I was worried that my nails were kind of going through it. And it's really good crust, so. Fourth of a cup of... Uh, Fourth of a cup of butter. Butter. Okay. Melted the butter. Fourth cup of uh, 
butter. Carol. And we have uh, three eggs here. Don't mind a little extra protein. <laughs> well, it's, you know, eggs have, sometimes have brown spots in them. They don't hurt. They don't, you want some? But I like to get it out. Mm-hmm. A cup of white sugar. And somehow the best part about this pecan tart is his pecan pies are not super sweet like some are. All right, now what? A cup of light Cairo. Of light hero syrup to the eggs and the sugar eggs and the sugar and the butter mm -hmm. just together mixing hi how are you i'm good all right, we're mixing. Mix that well. Sorry about all these people in the background talking during our video. Teaspoon of uh, vanilla flavoring. A teaspoon. A teaspoon. Okay. Yep. What do you need this? Yeah, no, oh, the chopper. I need the board, too. Just push them off. You need it on the board, huh? It's one on this side. Is that enough? I think that's enough. It's not even what? If you know, why are we doing it? I don't Chop the pecans. Chop the pecans. For a pie, you use the halves, but we chop them up so they Because it's smaller. Yeah. Then while the tartlets are being made, everybody can fight over how to make the mac and cheese. Uh-huh, yeah. Mm, look at those delicious pies. Slide those in the mix. In the mix. Oh, these are so going to be so yummy. Mm. And then... I'm going to put about a fourth of a cup in each one. We can always come back and put some more if we need it. That first one's a little skimpy. Okay. What about that much in it? Skimpy? Mm-hmm. And we're almost done. <laughs> Just like old times. No, it's just a lot. Look at me adding the finishing touches because I'm so helpful. That was terrifying. You made my room. We put these in for? Well, we're going to check them in about 30 minutes. We think they'll be probably done. Make sure What's the oven on? 300? Yeah. 300? Gotcha. Help. They are coming out the oven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We're going to let them cool for a few minutes, and before they stick to the pan too much, we'll take a knife and run around them and get them out. I can't wait. Okay, so I don't blame myself, but maybe only three of them are coming out correctly. But here they are. Deliciousness. The pecan tartlets. And... We're going to taste them. Oh, good. <laughs> Thank you for learning with Miss Roseberry about how to make pecan tartlets with my dad. Happy Thanksgiving.